Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Hayabusa, is about stop being an amateur, throwing your combinations, and start thinking more like a professional. All right, in today's episode, we're breaking down how you can start throwing your combinations more like a professional, less like an amateur. We need to stop thinking all the time like an amateur and start thinking higher level. This way, it helps you improve your IQ and understanding of things, all right? And the most basic thing you're gonna learn when you first start kickboxing or MMA are the single strikes. One, your cross, your hook, your knees. After you learn every single strikes, the next important thing you learn is combinations, right? So, remembering the combinations becomes the hardest thing. Okay, there's jab, uppercuts, hooks, knees, and then once you finally learn how to flow with your combinations, this is where you gotta start putting what I call the professional equation to combinations, okay? So, the first thing we're gonna talk about is five different ways, all right? You're gonna learn five different ways to be more professional-like with your combos. Number one, okay, is building in face. And when you think about these five, think about it as that full equation, okay? So this is what's gonna make your combo that much more successful. First thing, fainting, okay? So in any pro fighter, you see boxing the most because there's only two weapons and half of a body, so they have to faint and create reactions. We gotta be a little bit more creative. So the first thing, doesn't matter the combination, it's me creating a faint, okay? And you notice when I faint, my feints have to be believable. I show my head, I show my, my, my shoulders, my feet. I'm kind of fainting to get a good reaction. Now, the reason why I want to faint before my combination is because he's probably lo loading something up to crack me with. So if he's got his, loader, his rear hand loaded, I need to faint to make sure, boom, 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 so I can get inside and get out quickly. So the faint gives me a defensive reaction, right? Where if I faint, he might get scared and just shell his head up, boom. And then this allows me to enter with my combination effectively. Now, it might also, with my feint, it might show a counter reaction. So he might look, boom, so, so now I know he's trying to throw that rear hand. So now, if I do enter, I can maybe catch it, defend it off, and be able to attack off that way, okay? So the first part of the combo equation is the feint. All right, next part of the equation, we add. It's your enter and exit, all right? Now I'm adding exit to it because I wanna give you more tips today. So how am I entering? So after the feint, Right? Am I entering on an angle? That's an important higher level because too many times amateurs are entering on a straight line. With the defense here, there's not many options for me if I enter in a straight line. I have to kind of open things up. So I might be fainting. My double jab enter might be to split the guard, right? Or if I know I'm jabbing here, my enter might be slightly on the outside so I can smack my rear hand or maybe attack on another open option. So professionals are gonna enter on different angles, all right? And the same thing with the exit, right? If I might come in here, boom, I might come out, exit on a little 45 degree angle, right? I can come in here, maybe exit out on this side to avoid power on the opposite side. So understanding the angles of your enter and exit, just gonna help you out. One, land more successfully, but also exiting is gonna help you get hit less on your exit, which is what we want. Hit and avoid being hit, okay? So our feint sets up the entry, and our entries might have a little bit of angles, right? And the next part of it, okay, is going to be the intensity changes, okay? So you don't always wanna throw things with the same amount of power. So again, I faint, I might create my angle, but you notice these first two punches are light, okay? Now this is where I'm gonna show you how we're building this combination. So fainting, I'm gonna go double jab, cross, Matt's just gonna hold for me, okay? Cross here, hook, low kick, and then I'll just do a little bit of a longer flow combo, okay? So I'm fainting, I'm double jabbing, and then after you see, this is a light double jab. Now I go hard, boom, 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 right? So I'm in changing my intensity. Light, light, power, power, light, power, power, right? So you can tell even within my same combinations, I change the power, I change the intensity, right? So even in this combo, my jab, is light to get the guard up, right, so I can crack. Now, this might be the hard shot, boom, boom, but lately he's been blocking my low kick, so I light block, so I kick very lightly, he doesn't block it, the next thing you know, boom, boom, power, right? 
And the same thing, I could change up my strike. I can go light, 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 boom, power, power, boom, light, power, power, light, light, power. So I'm confusing my opponent by changing the intensity and power in my strikes, okay? Now, point four is stop being so stiff. Now, the big thing when we start putting combinations together is we lose that little bit of flow. And what happens with amateurs, they start getting really square, they don't move their feet, and we lose the pivot. So then we, we tend to lose a lot of power. So we got to make sure we reference here using lead side. Boom, boom. Start using the momentum from your feet. Turns the shoulder, gets me a little bit more power. So professionals start you know, doing this automatically. But if you're still amateur, make sure you start getting into the habit of right, working on. See, I threw my right hand. I had a nice back foot pivot. I wasn't collapsed arch. Everything makes sense with the footwork. Boom, pa, boom. Good intensity, loading up, and then we build in the speed. So try to loosen up, stop being so stiff, and use your feet to help you turn your hips, which helps turn the shoulders, which helps you get more power, okay? Now, you'll also notice as you get more advanced, as you throw combinations, a lot of times, the defense comes built in, right? So if I don't move my shoulders, it's hard for me to move my head, right? I want to get my head offline to be able to counter, right? So using your feet and helping you rotate is just going to help you maybe move your head, roll, slip, or even defend using the wedge, right? I don't want to be stuck here, but here, you know, tack, tack, block, block, boom, boom. Right, you can see how my body, my blocks all work together that way, okay? So, number five, the thing we wanna work on now is level changing, right? That's what makes the combination even more advanced. Now, if I throw every level the same way, right? So, double jab, cross, hook, kick, hook, cross, all defensive, very easy to defend. Now, me throwing just with some level changes opens things up. And I can throw it with any strike that I want. The double jab might be to the head, cross to the body, hook to the body, kick to the body, right? I can kick the arm, I can kick the head, and then I just change it up. So the same combination, okay, uh, sorry, the same combination thrown, okay, could be attacked in so many different ways. So keep always change the levels, change everything up, okay? So play with the different boom techniques to get your combinations, okay? So that's the idea. So now when you put everything together, this is where it becomes a professional combination, right? So I'm gonna explain it and we're gonna put it together, all five for you in this review, okay? So remember, think about attacking combinations as the big equation. You gotta follow the sequences to make it successful. First things first, we need to faint, okay? So before my combination, I'm fainting, finding a reaction. Now I need to enter. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make sure I enter safely after my faint, my faint and I'm probably gonna attack on an angle. Boom, attack on an angle, okay? Throw my combo, I move my feet on an exit, moving properly, right? Now, even when I'm inside my combinations, what am I doing? Changing the intensity. So go light, light, right? Power, power, light, power, power. And the last point, I could change levels with it, right? Touch, touch, cross, boom, hit, boom, boom, right? Everything had a level change from my punches to my kicks, always keeping my opponent guessing. And again, after your combination, you make sure you exit safely, even if it's out or creating angles. And then you have your professional equation and your professional combination. All right? Make sure you like, subscribe, share Bazooka Kickboxing and, and MMA. Support the channel by going to our sponsors. We have Hayabusa, Hayabusa Fight, linked below. Perfect Sports Nutrition, using code Bazooka20 to get 20% off. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, where you get online training taught by me. Four videos every single Monday, $9.99 per month. Home workouts, bag workouts, tutorials, sparring drills, and an archive now that has probably over 150 videos for you to learn from. And you can kind of pick what kind of workouts you want. Punches, kicks, knees, fight concepts, combinations. I have a whole section on combinations in home and workouts, so all of this will make sense if you head over to bazookatraining.com. All right, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share one more time. 
and we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA online training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltolini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.